So I got a lot of requests on my last video to do a comparison between these three polishes that I have that are almost identical. And why do I need three polishes that are almost identical? Don't ask me, but I just have them. So this one is the Revlon and this one is in Chameleon and it is 933. So it's kind of like one of those gold polishes that reflects blue and green, which is our theme today. This one is the one by Color Club. It's also a gold polish that reflects blue and green. And this one is called Editorial. And then this one is by Julie G. And this one also reflects blue and green. And it is called Universe. So I'm going to show you what these look like when applying. And I'll have pictures. And then I think I'm going to take these outside so you can see better. And then some pictures of my fingers. And yeah. So stay tuned. The one that I'm going to be working with is the Julie G one. And it is called universe and you can find these at Rite Aid or you can order them from jessiesgirl.com and I have no Rite Aid near me so I actually picked this up when I was in Alabama they have Rite Aids there okay so let me get my focus there we go the color better okay so on my fingers already I just have the julep oxygen treatment so that's why they look so nicely colored <laughs> okay, so here we go. On my first finger. So we'll do one thin coat of each polish. And then I will have pictures. And then I will add another coat and see how many coats we need for all these polishes. So it looks kind of green. Well, not green. It looks gold on camera. So hopefully the pictures will be able to pick up the actual color. Okay, so here is what one coat of the Julie G polish looks like. It is a little see-through in front of me. I don't think you can see it on the camera so much, but just me looking at my nail, I can see some naked spots. So now we're going to do the Color Club Editorial. Sorry for all the noise. I'm just making a lot of noise. Okay. So this one is more of a green color that goes on the nail. So maybe these aren't all the same color. Now are they? Okay. So, I can actually tell the difference in the colors right here in front of my face. This one is more gold green. I mean, like gold. And this one has like a gold and green mixture to it. And this is one coat as well. Now on to Revlon's Chameleon. So, this one... I'm having a feeling we will be doing a million coats of this one. If I don't mess up with the other polishes while doing it. And I don't want you to be able to not see my finger. There we go. Okay. So this is a very sheer polish. It is not as opaque as the other two. So this one is going to need more coats, I believe, than just two. Okay, so this is all three of them. Clean that off of there. And I messed this one up. Oh, well, you get the idea. So this one is more of a gold color, where this one is a goldy green color. And this one is see-through. So I'm going to have pictures of one coat and what that looks like. 
So here is the second coat of all three nail polishes I will be applying right now. So here is the Julie G polish. Okay, so that is what two coats of that looks like. Here is the Color Club polish. And this is the second coat of editorial. And for these, it doesn't seem like it really makes a difference in the color for the Julie G and this one. It's just a second coat. So these two could almost be uh, one coat polishes. And I know in these kind of polishes you can see the brush strokes, but whatever. Now for the second coat of the Revlon one. Let's see if this even covers any of the nail. That's a little better. Um, yeah. I would say that two coats of the Revlon is actually a lot better than what I thought it was going to be because I swatched this on a swatch stick and it didn't turn out right. Now you can obviously see right there I went over it when I painted it too much so I'm going to have to add a third coat after that dries because just like a holographic polish it took away some of the color right there. but. The color of the Revlon compared to um, all of them matches the Julie G one more. Where now you can see that this one still has a green gold where these ones are a little more gold. Okay, so here is what two coats of each polish looks like. The one on my pointer finger is the Julie G. The one on my middle finger is the Color Club and the one on my ring finger is the Revlon. Now, they all look really similar, but the one on my middle finger it looks a little more green, where the Julie G and the Revlon one look a little more gold. And just in case you were wondering, the color on my pinky and thumb is just this one by Ulta, and it is called Jaded. And I just put it on because it kind of goes with the same color. And I might stamp over these later, just because... So, here is kind of a comparison. The one that I would say that if you can get your hands on, I would say get the Julie G one over the Revlon one. But if you can't, the Revlon one is still fine. You can do three coats and it turns out alright. It won't be good to stamp with or anything because it's so thin, but it still gives a nice effect. And then I would say the, the one in the middle is just slightly different color. So, if you want both of them, you can get both of them. But since I have all three, I don't know. So tell me which one you think you like the best. And thanks for watching.